a project on Romania, and it's titled Just Livia, which is the name of the woman that I interviewed. Um, Romania, I think most of us, if we think about it, um, we think about the real Dracula, Vlad the Impaler. Um, maybe we think of dark forests, or big castles, um, or possibly even the Disney Channel. Um, I think that there are plenty of movies about Dracula on there that supposedly take place in Romania. Um, so I think that's the popular image of Romania. Romania is located in southeastern Europe, and the woman I interviewed, Livia, grew up in Bucharest, which is the capital, which is right in that area, um, until she was 13 years old. When she was 13, she moved to America. Currently, she lives in Mannheim, Pennsylvania, and I met her through coaching her son's soccer team. Um, I actually learned about her background when I was interviewing her for another class, and I just remembered and I knew right away that's who I wanted to interview, and just get a little bit more information about her background. Um, as I was coming up with questions to ask her, I wanted to do something that was a little bit different maybe than the normal. I figured if anyone really cared or had an interest in Romania, they could just look it up on Wikipedia and get the gist of it in about five minutes. Um, you know, <laughs> I, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I came up with some questions um, that focus more on her and her experience moving to America, um, her perceptions of America, and how she transitioned to America, more so than Romania itself. Um, the other thing is I didn't really think it was fair to make her an expert or expect her to be an expert on all things Romania. As Lucian Boa, a historian from Romania, writes, one country but so many viewpoints, one history but so many ways of reconstructing and interpreting it. So I wanted to look at a lot more than just Romania. Livia came to America in December of 1987, and she came over here to Philadelphia where her parents already were. She came with her sister. And I asked, you know, why did your parents want to move? And she said she wanted you know, they wanted to give her a better life. But she thought life was just fine in Romania. I mean, that's where all her friends were, that's where her family was, and that's what she knew. So it was definitely a transition moving here. Um, a big part of that change is communication and language and just understanding the culture that you're now in. Um, the official language of Romania is Romanian, which is spoken by about 91% of the population, according to CIA uh, World Factbook estimates. <coughs> As a 13-year-old coming to America, I was curious to know how she adjusted and how, how she transitioned from Romanian to English. Um, she explained to me, though, that in Romania, much like in America, you, many people learn a second language. And it starts a lot younger. So when she was in elementary school, she was already learning English. And she said, you know, the transition really wasn't that tough, but the language, you know, the English that she was spoken was a lot more similar to that that's spoken in Great Britain, so it's more proper, and the biggest transition for her was learning the local dialects here. You know, one example she gave me, she said, in England maybe they say rubbish for trash, but here we say trash. And to a native speaker of English, you know, you don't really think about those differences, but she had to think of it as a whole new words to learn and understand. Um, perhaps as important as that, you know, language itself is the nonverbal. Um, there are certain things from culture to culture and country to country that are going to be different, and particularly greetings come to mind. In America, you meet someone new, you shake their hands. In some Asian countries, maybe you bow out of respect. The distances in which we speak can be different too. In America, maybe there's a foot between us when we're speaking to each other. In Europe, it's a lot closer. So I asked Olivia, you know, did she notice any differences? The biggest difference she stated was that in Romania, people tend to be a bit more affectionate if they know you when they meet you. You know, so here, even if I know someone, maybe I'll wave, you shake their hand, but you know, I'm still, I'm not really going to get that close to them. She said, you know, in Romania, it's really common a kiss on the cheek, an embrace, something like that, um, with someone that you know. Um, she said she was proud that she got her husband's family. Um, into that a little bit more because she was uh, complaining to me that they weren't very affectionate when she first met them, but uh, now they're a little bit more so. Um, so coming to America and learning a new language and a culture 
becomes important, um, but so is her perceptions of America beforehand. Um, I asked her about her experiences with America before coming to America, and she told me that most of it came through movies and TV shows, but she didn't really feel that was what America was really about. Um, she said, you know, you come to America, she thinks of it as a land of opportunity, and that's what it was for, but you can't just show up and good things are going to happen to you. You have to show up and work hard, and that's how people become successful. So Livia has been living in America now for almost 25 years. She has two sons, she's married, and, you know, she really considers herself an American. She hasn't been back to Romania since 1998, and she communicates with people some, but this is her home now. So with the benefit of hindsight and time on her side, I wanted to know, what does she identify herself as today? Um, I think that a lot of times we categorize people on where they come from, what they sound like. She speaks with an accent, so I think a lot of us would say she's Romanian. Um, but she considers herself an American. I think that brings up an important point as to what's more important, how society sees you or how you see yourself. She said, I identify myself as an American, I'm an American citizen, and therefore that is what my new identity is. The fact that I was born in Romania will never change who I really am as a person. While she considers her background in Romania important, that's not what makes her a real person. My project is focused on Livia from Romania, but I'd like to think based on some of the quotations and information I gave you, you can find out a little bit more about who she was as a person and not just where she came from. Um, I focused on communication, her self-identity, and her perspectives of America. I think perhaps that maybe she can give you the best view of herself. She said, I am honest, sincere, loyal, dedicated, caring, affectionate, fun, and somewhat high strung, but nevertheless I am who I really am. Maybe she's Romanian or maybe she's American, or maybe she's both, or maybe she's just Libya.